The culture here for Martin Red is all about making sure people are successful. From the CEO to the business unit leader to the executive vice presidents, been able to walk the floor and see the people become excited about an improvement that they have made is what makes this job really, really worthwhile. Hi, I'm Brad Coven, Editorial Director of Metal Forming Magazine at the Precision Metal Forming Association. Uh, we're here today at the Springfield, Tennessee facility of Martin Rea, where we have the pleasure of meeting with General Manager Esau Gardner. Esau, you've uh, spent some time during your career uh, with three different automotive OEMs. Now you're with a Tier 1 supplier at Martin Rea. Talk about how the experience that you've had at the OEMs plays into your ability uh, here at Martin Rea to meet the needs and expectations of your OEM customers. Uh, it gives me a, a true understanding of the importance of a good supplier. Um, you need good quality parts. You need parts that are there when you get ready to produce them so that there's no loss of production or loss of quality or any rework required. So understanding that portion of it gives you the right passion to make sure that when you deliver to your customer, you deliver them a good part and you deliver them a part at the time in which it's required. Isai, I know that this facility has undergone quite a bit of growth in recent years, including the addition of 200 new tools into the press room and adding 35 new robotic assembly cells uh, to the floor as well. So talk a little bit about how you've met the training challenges related to such growth in such a short period of time. Two years ago, understanding the amount of change that this plant was going to undergo, uh, from the amount of work, the uh, amount of tooling that was going to come in, the amount of new equipment, and the way we would deliver the parts to our uh, processes, there was a need to pull all that together and make sure that everyone in the plant at every level of the organization understood exactly what we were trying to do and what we were gonna do and what the completion looked like. So along the way, there was milestones that we had to meet. In meeting those milestones, we had to communicate always to our team members all the way through every level of the organization the importance of each milestone and what that meant. Our people are our most valuable resource. So the biggest point of uh, emphasis that we use was ensuring communication was key. We held monthly communication meetings with all of our employees. We made sure they understood exactly where we stood with uh, changing the floor layout to the uh, construction of the new buildings, to the expansions of the buildings, to implementing and installing the new foundations and the equipment such as the SIMPAC. The new 1,000-ton press from SIMPAC allows us the flexibility to build larger parts because the bed press size is the same as our larger uh, tonnage machines. However, um, what this machine does for us is it allows us more strokes per minute, which gains efficiency. And also, uh, with the dual press bed, it allows us to uh, already set the next job. So our pre-flight portion of the die chains can already be established and we can uh, go from putting the last part of the existing running part into the box and within several minutes be able to change over and get the next uh, part running. One of the big trends in the automotive industry moving forward is the move to EV platforms. How will the new press uh, increase your flexibility and your ability to meet the requirements of these new platforms? Obviously we'll have a lot of high strength uh, lower weight still, so the uh, structures of the material will be much different, uh, which requires a different type of tool. Um, what the 1,000 ton does for us is it allows us to have the uh, bed size that will make the longer parts that are higher strength but lower weight or lower tonnage requirement uh, to support the flexibility that is uh, a part of the EV initiatives and platforms. Just in the two years that I've been here, watching and seeing the people grow and understand uh, how important our training is, how important understanding how to be a lean culture is, how important our 5S initiatives are. And when we get equipment here that we maintain it, that we make it look like it's new years after we have it, and to see those people take off on their own and develop and become autonomous, that's the part that makes the job worthwhile.